So they'll be calling you a radical. So the LA Times is finally out saying what Kevin Blanche has been saying for nearly 12 years now. There's a new culprit with the collapse of the Pacific Ocean. Food. Sardines and anchovies are killing the salmon. Big fish eat little fish. Hello. 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 Big fish eat little fish. Hello. Hello. Now, what have I said from the beginning? Now, and this blows my mind. It actually truly blows my mind how we're ignoring the elephant in the ecology. We're ignoring the elephant in the Pacific Ocean. It's unarguable science. Absolutely, Kevin Blanche's historic work is absolutely unarguably proven. It's all out there. We have 12 years of data. We know this acute catastrophe started in the Pacific Ocean in 2011. We know factually. I documented it boots on the ground as it happened. Starfish went immediately in 2012, 2013. Remember the starvation on the mirrors on there? They're all washing up starfish. It's a starvation event, and it's an acute radical. We call those outliers in science. This is the greatest outlier in human history. It's an arguable that we know something radically changed. This is not gradual, happened in 2011. Yet here's more confirmation. It takes him 11 years to realize, oh, it's like a big fish eat little fish. You broke the chain. Look, Fukushima meltdowns have never happened before. They pushed the cores, they pushed the spent fuel into the Pacific Ocean. It broke the staff of life. Photoplankton, you know, what did the starfish say to the 60,000 pump humble well? Fukushima killed my food. What did the, the, the 60,000 pound well replied to the starfish. Starfish replied to the well. We too. It's the ecology, stupid. So the New York Times is out here. Again, more confirmation. Of Kevin Look, how can we continue to deny this? We know unarguably, factually, scientifically, it is absolutely unarguable that we have a great outlier that radically happened on the Pacific Ocean in 2011. Okay, we have to start something. I mean, you can run regression. It's unarguable science, absolutely unarguable. Something radically changed in the Pacific Ocean in 2011. Hmm. Hmm. And we just go into denial. I mean, it took me three and a half years to convince anybody it was even one fucking meltdown. I mean, all these so-called experts were calling a hydrogen blast for decades. So, anyway, so. New York Times, <laughs> of all people, one of the greatest Fukushima denying publications ever. I mean, we just continue to ignore the elephant in the ecology. We continue to ignore the elephant in the Pacific Ocean. This radical, I mean, this is the greatest ecologic catastrophe collapse in an 11-year period in world history that happened on our Pacific Ocean. It happened on the main, and I documented every bit of it. What did I get for it? <laughs> Almost dead. I don't even have a fucking car. So, anyway. Stay in tune.